a trip down memory lane, reading aloud my poems, song lyrics, and old blogs. From my Tumblr page. A win-win production. Enjoy! Hey everyone, so I was going through my Tumblr account and I was going through my creative writing um, exercises and it brought back so much memory. So let's read along to them together, okay? Let's see what is in store. Trip down memory lane. All right, so creative writing number three, dialogue. It's saying, in this creative writing exercise, it is a dialogue between three people. Everything everyone says has to be a cliché. Dialogue only on a road trip. Ooh. All right. What did I come up with? Hey, dude, what's up? Let's go on a road trip. LOL. Wow, that's really random. But yeah, not much is going on. Let's go. Early bird catches the worm. You snooze, you lose. I'll see you in the morning. Next morning. Rise and shine, sleeping beauty. It's time to go. Third person joins in. Oh, where are you going? We're going to teach Rover how to skate. LOL, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah, well, you just watch me. I'll show you. Dude, don't count, don't count your chickens before they hatch. But yeah, just kidding. We're going on a road trip. Cowabunga. Fun. I want to go. Where to? Birds of a feather flock together. I don't know yet. We drive now and go to random places. Well then, what are we going? What are we waiting for? Let's move. I call shotgun. Not it. That doesn't make any sense. Cause I call shotgun. I want to go to Tokyo. L O L, dude. Then go catch a plane or something. L O L. <laughs> that was fun. Did you catch all the cliches? That was a fun writing dialogue. All right, writing number two, the weather in Nebraska. In this creative writing exercise, it will discuss the weather in Nebraska using only conjunction repeatedly in every sentence. See if you can guess which conjunction is used. And for today's topic of the day, we discuss the weather in Nebraska. And the weather for today is cool, but it all, but it's always changing. And the weather for tomorrow will be a bit colder with a slight chance of shower. And yesterday's weather was very nice. And the weather before that was cold. And before that it snowed. And based on that, who would have thought that it would snow in April and in spring? Why would the weather be so cold during the spring? And another thing, the weatherman needs to make up his mind and decide if it's going to be warm, hot, or cold. And before the weatherman could predict the weather, he needs to check the forecast. And that all leads to Mother Nature's job. So blame her. <laughs> okay, so the conjunction is obviously the word and because you all know how often I like to use the word and in my writings because I just talk a lot, right? <laughs> that is too funny. Creative writing number one, superhero. In this creative writing exercise, I wrote this my freshman year of college. We were supposed to come up with an Im imaginary made up superhero. My professor gave us a piece of candy and whatever candy we ate gives us our special power. We had conflicts with our mother. Sounds about right. Always had a conflict with my mother. <laughs> I am a strong fighter. I can dodge every obstacle that comes my way. I have the power and ability to rope you up and tie you in a corner. When I eat a watermelon Jolly Rancher, I have the super strength. When I eat a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher, I have the ability to gain speed, full strength, and I can fly. Being a superhero is amazing, and this all happened because I was wishing on a shooting star. I said, I wish I was a superhero, and then and the next morning I woke up with amazing superpowers. I occasionally have conflicts with my mother because she has a thing against superheroes. Every so often when I use my powers around her, she would start rolling her eyes at me and act like she really despises my new natural talent. 
every so often we would have the same conflict over and over again. It is like I'm the awesome superhero and she is the infamous supervillain. I am I am proud of who I am now and glad that I can call myself a superhero. I will do anything to save mankind and protect the earth from flying monkeys or other deadly destructions. I am the one who will save the world from all dangers. I am Supergirl! Woo! That's awesome. <laughs> I wrote that my freshman year of college. Too cool. Aw, it's Hello Vietnam. Vietnam in our hearts. Ooh, love by Win Win. All right, let's see what love has to offer. Love is but a beautiful feeling, a feeling you get when you care for someone, a feeling that brings joy, showing someone how you really feel. Like a dove soaring through the sky, through my eyes symbolizing love and peace. Love is but a wonderful feeling, a feeling you get when you miss someone, a feeling that brings light through the person's eyes, showing someone they mean the world to you, like a sad child wanting to find their mother. Through their eyes, it's like they have lost a friend. Love is but a thoughtful feeling, a feeling you get when you are in love, a feeling like a heart pounding from inside your chest, showing compassion when you meet a special someone, like a maple tree ready to give shade. Through the children's eyes, it gives them a warm spot to sit under. Love is but a compassionate feeling, a feeling you get when you admire something. A feeling of happiness when receiving roses, showing laughter and tears of joy, like a mother fox protecting their young ones from danger. Through their eyes, they are safe from harm. Love is but a cheerful feeling, a feeling you get when you know they care. A feeling so tingly like Cupid shot you with their love arrows, showing compassion for someone you desire. Like the sun smiling bright in the morning, through a person's eyes, it will be a great day. Love is but a sensational feeling, a feeling you get when waiting for a friend, a feeling that skips a beat when meeting a friendly boy, showing sympathy and passion for something to s something so deep, like a donor giving hope for those in need. Through their eyes, they just want to be there. Love can be expressed in such marvelous ways, can symbolize or represent how you may feel. Love is but an awesome feeling, a feeling you get when you know that it's there. Aww. You know you're a poet and you don't know it. <laughs> and this is still my current model. You can have confidence, but it is nothing without strength. Simple thoughts by me. Win win. Reunion by Win Win. We all went to Ele Elliott Elementary School. After 10 years of not seeing each other, October 2nd, 2010, we finally reunited, giving me the inspiration to write this piece. Enjoy! I cannot believe it has been 10 years. Not all those times never shed any tears. I am elated to see you again. Looking back and moving forward, we will look upon what is new. Can you believe how different we are? Each of us all grown up. Nevertheless, on the inside, we are still as one, still the same from who we are. We are still shining like golden stars. We always sh share one thing, a heart from the memories that was once there. I remember this. We all remember that. We, um, how amazing our memories can be. All the warm thoughts and great times we see. Perf picture perfect moments. Flash, flash, flash. Sifting through pictures, looking through the past. How great it is to see you again. Let us take the time to stop and reflect. My friends whom I can never neglect. We will always come together as one. Childhood friends forever, second to none. Let us come together. Let us have a feast. Come one, come all. Let us all have a ball. You always catch me when I fall. We will always be there for each other through ups and downs. We shall treasure those memories forever and always. Never forget those fun times, all those picture perfect days. Those warm memories will always stay. In yours and mine, we all have one thing, a ring, circling our friendship that can never break apart. Then I, that I shall always keep close to my heart. Yay! Reunion with me and my 
elementary school friends who we still are solid, strong friends. Woo! Look at me. I look so fit back then. <laughs> and there's me, little Win, photo of the day, nostalgic moment. Guess who that is? Little Win. All right, what else? Acrostic poem, mother, my one and only. M O T H E R, my one and only, by Win Win. Mom stands for my only mother, who means the world to me. Only you can understand me and care for me like no other. Through all the good times and bad, I will remember your warm touch. Heart to heart moments, you were always right there. Even when you were sick, you managed to make me happy. Remember me, your daughter Win, for I will always pray for you. Mom, please watch down on me from heaven and above. Your gentle loving that will ri rise to me like a peace-giving dove. Only you can make me feel better. No other stepmother can, never, can ever replace you. Every struggle I encounter, I keep you in mind. All my thoughts and feelings, I think of you. Nights after nights, I pray for you too. Dreaming of the day I can see you again. Only you can turn my frown upside down. Never down or ever depress. Lonely times you will always be by my side. You are my one and only mother. I love and miss you very much. In my poem is an acrostic poem. For each letter it spells out mother, my one and only. So there's M O T. H E R mother M Y my O N E one A N D and O N L Y only. That is so cool. Wynn wrote some many fantastic poems back in her undergraduate years. I'm going to publish these into a book of poetry someday. And then there is Seize the Day. A simple word or any phrase can get me going. Many different things can inspire me. This not only helps motivate myself, but I hope that it can also help motivate others. Enjoy. Seize the Day by Win Win. Reach for the stars and seize the day. You never know what to tomorrow will bring. Enjoy life fully. For some, it is a struggle and, it, and is in deep need to vent. What, uh, whatever obstacles one may encounter, just look within yourself. Take a deep breath for who knows what tomorrow will bring. Be yourself and always be true. It is never too good just feeling blue. One should never feel depressed. There is nowhere to run or anywhere to hide. When you feel like it, just let yourself cry. Once you feel better, do not give up. Perseverance is always the best option. Just reach out and touch the stars. Seize the day. Make most of what life has to offer. For you know that when life gives you lemon, you will always make sweet lemonade. Do not turn it sour just because life is rough. Take it from me, for I have been through it all. Hurtful words I take to heart. However, for me, I never let it tear my life apart. Day-to-day -day drama, some beatings may occur. Many say, run away or get out of there. Nevertheless, I say, no way, right here I shall remain. Running does not mean you are weak. Hiding from fear shows that I did not learn. There is nowhere to run or anywhere to hide. All you have to do is live up to yourself and try. Seize the day, that is all I have to say. One day, all dreams will, will fulfill. Conquer your fears, and someday you will succeed. Like eagles soaring high above the sky, just believe in yourself, and you too can fly. One day, you shall break free. Release all that you have felt in the past. Once you are free, do not look back. Seize the day and reach for the stars. Only you can determine who you are. Woo! Win did it again. That was awesome. OMG. That's my reaction to this poem. This is a great 
flashback. Like, oh my gosh, I wrote this. <laughs> Even I am amazed with myself. This is a very fun trip down memory lane. Reaction to my poems. Sterling White Cross by Win Win. This object I wear across my neck represents someone I care for very much. The sterling white, white gold that I could never get wrecked reminds me that from heaven and above, always giving me that motherly love. Your gentle touch helps me feel your presence and your warm essence, sterling white cross across my neck, helps me remember that you will always be there, showing me that you care. When I rub it and pray for you, you will respond and say that you love me too. When, some, when looking at it through the mirror, I look upon it and would think that you are my greatest treasure, which of course brings me pleasure. This sterling white gold that brings me luck, I will always wear it as a reminder. Like eagles soaring and fire burning, the flame will never cease. For as long as I still have it, I know that I will always have you. This special cross around my neck, multiple crosses I have, one, two, three, four. Each sterling white or pure gold, these I keep forever and always, changing each one to match an outfit. But this one in particular I will keep, wearing it every week of every day. This sterling white gold around my neck is the one that will remain and stay. And this is my sterling white gold necklace that I still wear to this day. It represents my mom and her guidance. Woo woo! Can I not scroll? Let's bring it back. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next poem. Rhythmic poem, heart to heart. This poem came to mind just for fun while sitting in class one day. This just started coming to me and I felt like I should write it down right away. I went with what my heart tells me and just let the words flow. Within 10 minutes, this piece is done. This poem sounds like it is directed towards a crush, but in reality, I wrote this in a dedication to a very special friend. Enjoy! Heart to Heart I win, win. When I am with you, you make me feel warm inside. There is no explaining it. I should always have you by my side. Your gentle smile and glowing face, it always fills my heart with grace. I feel your presence when you are near. My heart starts pounding like drum beats, no fear. When you are with me, I feel so calm. I feel so warm, no sweats in my palm. I feel the sentimental feelings from your hugs. When being asked, it makes me feel I should not shrug. Say you will always be there for it to be true. I can always tell you anything when I am feeling blue. You are my one and all, who will always catch me whenever I fall. I am so lucky to have you. True friends forever will be. This is all that I can see. In return, I will always be there for you too. Thanks for always be being by my side. It has been great, like a thrilling ride. Smiley face. <laughs> Back during the good old college days, during my undergraduate years, this was how I used to do all my smiley emojis. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so, <laughs> huh. Ironic. So 10 years ago, Bob Hope, Johnny Cash and Steve Jobs all were the richest and most talented man alive. The world predicted that 10 years later, there will be no hope, cash, or jobs. Now, 10 years later, there's no hope, cash, or jobs. Ironic, right? Did you get it? OMG. Do you think that's true? That is so freaking weird. Who thinks of these things, you know? Ha. Huh. Friend or friend? Bow. Dun, dun, dun. I think this is when I was going through a 
Are you a friend or are you a fool face in life? Where I was questioning a friendship. When my friends and I are close, then I feel that I can truly trust them. Sometimes you cannot help but feel whether or not it is meant to be, or if it is all just pretend. Some friends come and go, and guys in one's life may just be using you or messing with your heart. There are many possibilities that goes on in life. Sometimes you just have to question whether that person is a friend or a foe. Dun dun dun! I feel like this will be a mic drop. <laughs> Friend or foe, but win, win. Are you a friend or are you a foe? This is what I would like to know. Can I trust you until the end or will you leave me to a road where it will all descend? Will you be there when I am blue or will, it, or will I see that is never too good to be true? Will you catch me whenever I fall or will you go out and deceive me to show that I cannot trust you at all? Is this a mystery that is too hard to crack? Would you throw me a birthday bash? Or will you go behind my back and talk all kinds of dirty trash? Will I be sitting alone in this sea of despair? Are you a friend or are you a foe? This is what I want to know. Let me know that it is not pretend. Prove to me your worthiness and show me that you truly care. And and show me that you truly care. That was the end of it. <laughs> oh, this was a blog about Reese's minis. Comparing this minis with that half pound. <laughs> I was writing this photo blog describing the size of these. And it was called false advertisements or deceptive facts. Because these say minis and at the same time king size. But this half pounder thing seems more giant than that. So it was pretty weird. Blog about Reese's minis. Comparing this minis with that half pound. <laughs> I was writing this photo blog describing the size of these and it was called false advertisements or deceptive facts because these say minis and at the same time king size but this half pounder thing seems more giant than that so it was pretty weird and pikachu Halloween is just around the corner. Look at this beautiful pumpkin of Pikachu and a Pokeball. That is so cute. I'm just scrolling through my Tumblr still to see what types of Charizard <laughs> posts that I used to post back then. This is too cool. And then there's a blog I wrote, The Power of Makeup. That was me looking all nice and tanned without makeup. And then boom, there's me with makeup, nice and tan as well. <laughs> success. So how did I measure success back then during my undergrad? Here it is. The dictionary definition of success is the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Um, from my MacBook dictionary. This to me means that success is not only achieving in school, but it is anything that is that you have worked hard at to achieve your goal. Whether an individual is studying very hard for an exam or pers persevere at a sporting event, I believe success is anything you put your, your heart and effort in and are motivated to accomplish any given task. To me, success does not mean acing every given subject or win at every sporting event, but it means that you give it your very best with 100% effort and the outcome will eventually become a success. Whether it is a C on exam or a simple well done, metal ribbon, that is also considered success through my eyes. 
as long as we put in time, effort, and motivation. That is the overall key to success. When one is six, uh, is unsuccessful at something, which does not mean necessarily mean which does not necessarily mean they are dumb, but it just means they gave up too easily and did not put in the right amount of effort. In a section of a book I read called Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, they said that if an individual put in about 10,000 total hours of practice through the year, whether it is practicing sports, instrumentals, or studying, then that is the key to success. If one is not achieving their goals, then they are at the very peak of success and just need to put in more time and motivation to do even better, to reach the top of the mountain of success. Next time when people say they are being unsuccessful, then ask them what success is and how does one achieve and how does one achieve it? A C plus one time can easily be changed and will one day become an A plus. Woo! The key to success, love and peace, win smiley face. <laughs> uh, here's another blog I wrote when there was an opening exhibition at the Shelton Art Gallery. And it was an amazing experience because I was there for an interview and I got to be a part of the presentation. You want to hear about it? Let me read it. <laughs> Let's read this and see how amazing it was. All right, so yesterday, Friday, September 23rd, 2011, my friends and I went to the opening exhibition at the Sheldon Art Gallery. The theme is Vietnam, Nebraska. Photographs by Bin Yan. When looking through each photograph, it made me realize just how small the Asian community in Lincoln is, but when seeing each photo combined together in a big mural, it shows an even larger community with friends, family, or a certain group. It made me very proud to be part of the community because my friends and I were all part of the exhibit. My group members AWA, Asian World Alliance, and I were in the pictures, and when I saw a solo picture of me in one of the murals, it made me even more proud. My initial reaction when I saw myself was, hey, look, it's me. <laughs> the photos consisted of many different camera perspectives and pictures taken in Lincoln. It was nice seeing a picture of the Vietnamese markets and restaurants on 27th Street, this area known as the Asian Zone, where I would drive past every day, but never look at in a camera lens point of view. When I saw the Temple Oriental markets and restaurants, it became more than just an old place, but transformed into an extravagant photograph on a big canvas. The greatest piece of art I saw was an old black and white image from the Vietnam War. The photographer was able to magically develop the photographs on a leaf using the power of photosynthesis. When I learned about this in science class, I did not think about other ways one can use photosynthesis because besides helping plants grow what is more amazing is that he was also able to develop photos onto grass which to me is even bigger challenge seeing ben's method of, of applying photosynthesis into photos is inspiring because now i feel like anyone can create a masterpiece using any type of materials one just has to explore the different settings and structure, structures around us and use the best of our knowledge. After looking at all the photos, photographs in the exhibit, I attended a special presentation from the photographer, Bin Yan. This was a great experience because, this present, because his presentation really opened my eyes to what happened during the Vietnam War and post-Vietnam War. Many of the things he mentioned in the slides were all relatable to me because I heard those stories from my dad, who was second lieutenant during the Vietnam War. Ben's presentation made me proud to be a Vietnamese American and it made me feel that I should never neglect my own heritage. Finally, after the presentation, I was able to eat and mingle with my friend. While looking at the display booth, I saw a book of photography been published with his photos of deceased American soldiers during the Vietnam War, all developed on leaves and grass. The book interested me, so I felt obligated to buy myself a copy of the book to present to my dad, knowing that my dad was part of the Vietnam War. 
He would be pleased to see my, such an amazing work of art at all. Um, amazing work of art, all using nature's creation. When I invited a friend to come along with me, he was not Vietnamese. Therefore, I was hoping that he would not feel out of place during the presentation because throughout the presentation, there was an interpreter who translated from English to Vietnamese. I thought this was amazing because I myself cannot do anything like that. The way the interpreter was able to keep up with that with what the speaker have to say and translate it perfectly. Tra surprisingly, my friend told me that he did not feel out of place and he enjoyed the presentation very much. He said he was glad he came and stayed for the whole event. He also stated that he, it opened his eyes that something lost during the war can revive into a photography image or brought back using the life form of a leaf. My final take-home thought towards the end of the event is that art is more than just a pretty picture or a painting on a canvas. People say that a picture is worth a thousand words, and anything can be um, part of the picture as well. A simple picture can enlarge or shrink and still look like a true masterpiece. No matter what race, religion, or ethnicity you are, do not ever neglect your own culture. If one looks at the big picture, one can see that a small community can be an enlargement of something beautiful and me and worthwhile. Stay connected and pre and be proud of who you are. Love and peace. Win win. Cool. Nine eleven reflection. Exactly ten years ago on this very day, what were your thoughts and reactions when you heard about the tragic events of nine eleven? Most of us were very young or possibly very confused as to what was going on. Today, we have a better understanding of it. Let us remember this day and say our prayers to those who called at our names. In memory of those who risked their lives, let us commemorate those brave heroes. Honor those who crawled out of the burning building and risked their lives to help save others. 9-11 America. Never forget. Roll of a Father blog. I wrote a lot. <laughs> Six winter privacy poems. Seasonal Acrostic by Win Win. Part one, fall. Following the wind and feeling the warm breeze, leaves are scattered, laying gently on the ground. See how it spells out F-A-L-L? Part two, winter, and it will spell out winter. White substance twinkling on the pavement, intriguing I see, but makes me shiver in disbelief, not knowing when it will disappear or reappear. Trees are bare with frosty branches, everlasting leaves no longer there, all were raked or covered in snow. Part three, spring. Spring flower blossom bringing in, bringing in Lunar New Year. Precious beauty looking at nature. Rainy days and glory days helping green grass grow. Intensifying sunlight bringing back my tan. Never, wa never wanting another chilly day. Glowing with excitement as we share the good times. Spring, S-P-R-I-N-G. Part four, summer. S U M M E R <laughs> Summertime fun, swimming and splashing, under the shades, keeping cool, licking on ice cream and sucking on popsicles. Many times we want to get out and run, but when it is too humid, it makes us want to stay inside, feeling the nice cool air conditioner blast. Everlasting sunlight giving me back my nat my dark natural skin tone, reminiscing the days as the fun adventures fly by. And then part five, we are back to fall, focusing on the simplicity of fall, autumn leaves of beauty, a wondrous colorful sight. Looking out the windows, gazing at the trees, lustrous colors of red, orange, and gold waiting to be told. Part six is back to winter. Wintry frosts bring back chills. Staying indoors is where we belong. Not wanting to go outside, 
not wanting to go outside or having to scrape the windows or shovel the snow. Cold days, we tend to get lazy, just wanting to keep warm, snuggling with everyone so close and near, gathering around the fireplace, right here with family and friends, making love grow strong till it never ends. Ooh, this is a song I wrote. Best Friends, lyrics by Win Win. Let's see if I know the melody still. I need music. Let's go. <laughs> Best friends, it's all we'll ever be. True friends, always you and me. Best friend, please don't let it end. I'm so glad I could call you my best friend. We've been together through the good times and bad. We've hung together and talked all day. Always been true to ourselves, never ever told a lie. We've been together through the ups and the downs. Always laughing all the way. We've been together whether good or bad. We stuck together, never argued or get mad. We've been together, always be true. That's why I call you my best friend. Verse 2. Best friends, we're like paper and glue. True friends, only me and you. Best friend, please don't let it end. I'm so glad I get to call you my best friend. Best friends, we've been through it all. True friend, you always catch me when I fall. Best friend, let's not make this end. You will always be my best friend. We've been together through the good times and bad. We've hung together and talked all day. Always been true to ourselves, never ever told a lie. We've been together through the ups and the downs. Always laughing all the way. We've been together whether good or bad. We've stuck together, never argued or get mad. We've been together, always be true. That's why I call you my best friend. Huh. I don't think I'm getting kind of rusty over this without the music. I don't think I remember what type of melody I was singing to this back then. Verse 3. We've been together, come on, ever when I call. You always there to answer when I need you. You help me through the ups and the downs. I know I always count on you. No matter what happens, I'll always be there for you. You will always be my best friend. Huh. And then I'm repeating verse 1, verse 2, and then the chorus. Sheesh, how long was I making this song? Best friends, it's all we'll ever be. True friends, always you and me. Best friend, please don't let it end. I'm so glad I can call you my best friend. Best friends, we're like paper and glue. True friends, only me and you. Best friend, please don't let it end. I'm so glad I get to call you my best friend. Best friends, we've been through it all. True friend, you always catch me when I fall. Best friend, let's not make this end. You will always be my best friend. Oh, I think this is all coming back to me, the way that it's meant to be sung. We've been together through the good times and bad. We've hung together and talked all day. Always been true to ourselves, never ever told a lie. We've been together through the ups and the downs, always laughing all the way we've been together whether good or bad we've stuck together never argued or get mad we've been together always be true that's why i call you my best friend huh <laughs> nicely done win win <laughs> 
childhood memories in A, B, C's, another acrostic poem. Who has not played, watched, or thought about these things when you were younger? This poem is an absidarian poem, meaning that the poem is acrostic, but the letters in each line starts with the letters in the alphabet from A through Z. This is all of the things I liked the most during my generation. All the good times, fun times, and all the warm memories all flowing back to me in the making of this poem. Enjoy! Childhood Memories and ABCs, an Ipsidarian poem by Win Win. As the decades pass from the 90s to the year 11, I start reminiscing the past beginning with the days when my real mother was with me. Childhood memories colliding with Ninja Turtles, Donkey Kong, and Mario. Days when the Nintendo 64 was in power. With each flashback, I look back at Street Fighters, Mortal Kombat, and Kirby Avalanche with friends. I grew up with always happy, cheerful, and never sad. Growing older, I get separated from those generations. Just enjoy life, be yourself, and always try your best. Those Kindle words I live by, even Michael Jackson showed me the world, giving a hundred percent of my all. Loving, looking at the earth with an eagle eye point of view, motivations and acknowledgements as I move up the spiral staircase, nostalgic events with bundles, warm and memorable, continuing to move forward. Opening the door to newfound opportunities, I always think positive positively as I manage to explore the world one step at a time. Quietly, quietly reading my texts and studying to succeed. Taking nice relaxing breaks, I remember the good times when I hang with friends. Childhood conglomerations like Sailor Moon, Pokemon and Rugrats, Girl Power and Cute Anime Revolution. Times when I forgive but could never forget and trying to live without regrets. Understanding one's thoughts before getting upset. Vociferating angry feelings is never my thing. Whatever the circumstances, I do give second chances. But like xylophones playing a suspicious detective spy movie song, yakety yak, <laughs> yakety gossipers, misconstrued behaviors will not get a third or fourth chance. Zesty feelings always remain as time fly by and continue to grow strong. The end. Thanks for watching and listening. Catch me on YouTube for more updates. Please love and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.